Hello everyone. In this video series, we will see how to use Google Data Studio and create effective, powerful, interactive dashboards. So first, initially, uh, we will see how the Google Data Studio homepage looks like. I am just going to Google and type, a, and type uh, Google Data Studio. Just click in and I am already logged in. So this is my uh, homepage. Uh, in order to create a new dashboard, the first thing I need to do is to click the blank report. Okay, this is the blank report. Once you click, uh, the blank report will be generated, and you can uh, kind of add data, uh, source data, to this uh, report through uh, from various sources. Okay, like from Google Analytics, Google Ads, Google Sheets, and Microsoft Excel. From all these, you can add uh, multiple options are given. From all these, you can add your source data. Okay, so here I have a source data called Bangalore COVID data. Okay, uh, data of Bangalore uh, COVID patients, and uh, I have different columns under these. Okay, so initially I had it as uh, Excel sheet, but I preferred uh, copying the data and using it in the Google Sheets for. Uh, getting quicker access this is a large data basically more than 50,000 uh, patient information is there so I, rather than uh, linking it to the excel sheet in the computer I prefer using it in my uh, google sheets okay how can I uh, import this just click here just click in the google sheet and uh, it will show a list of the spreadsheets available in your uh, uh, drive okay I'm going to click uh, google covid uh, bank to covid data and select add okay once I click add, the data will be automatically added. Uh, since this is a huge data of 50,000 people, uh, patients, it will take time to load. So I'll show you another uh, another way of adding uh, data. For example, Excel. Okay, the catch is the also let us consider uh, this Excel sheet to be uh, used as a source data for the Google Data Studio. One catch is that uh, Google Data Studio do does not accept the routine format in which Excel is saved. Okay. There is a special format in which we should save. Uh, that is CSV, comma delimited. Okay. So generally, it would be saved as an Excel workbook. But in order to uh, make it readable for the Google Data Studio, we should save it as csv comma delimited in csv there are different types you should be cautious that it should be uh, saved as csv comma delimited and click save okay okay now we will try importing the data again clicking on the blank report we are waiting for it to load and here the file upload okay see even here they have mentioned connect to csv files okay so csv comma delimited files you should uh, select okay i'm uploading from my documents and uh, here is the status bar it's being processed and it will be uploaded in the meanwhile we'll look here yes our uh, bangalore covid data is uploaded in this okay so this is how we upload our data uh, to the uh, google data studio okay in the subsequent videos we will see step by step how to effectively use the google data studio to create an interactive dashboard thank you